Hey everybody. Hello, hello everyone. Let me just make sure I have everything ready. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey everybody. Welcome to another episode right here. And my name is Marty Angel. And I am known as the Empowering Latina Coach. And I am a Latina business coach here to give you tips to rock your business and live your best life, guys. So let's talk a little bit about what is Marty going to talk about? The que? Hello, hello. So if you're just joining in, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's talk a little bit about what is the topic of today. Today is how to flip the switch. Three four foolproof ways to really flip that internal dialogue, that switch that you've got going on, guys. And so right here, I want you to understand that um, I am Marty Angel. Once again, if you're just joining in, known as the Empowering Latina Coach, I am a Latina business coach with a passion to help you guys by teaching you simple tools and techniques that you can go from brick and mortar to click and order, guys. So, hola, hola a todos. Mi nombre es Marti Ángel. Soy conocida como la entrenadora latina emprendedora. Soy la coach de negocios aquí para darles consejos que lleve tu negocio y que se mueva y puedas vivir una mejor vida. Quiero Quiero decirles que estoy bien agradecida que estén aquí. I'm so happy you're here. Totally grateful for you and the fact that you're here today. So today, let's talk about what is Marty going to talk about. She's going to talk about how to flip the script that can stop you dead in your tracks or if not, at least push you back to make you procrastinate and begin to doubt yourself, guys. Today, I am going to give you three foolproof ways that you can switch that inner dialogue to going from I can't, I don't, and why not me, to I got this. So let me talk about this a little bit. While it's true that changing our thinking and rewiring our destructive habits takes time, guys, that doesn't mean that something can't be done right now. In this present moment, you can do something to change that. Just because you're not at the top of your mountain right now doesn't mean that there it doesn't mean that you're not going to get there and it doesn't mean that there's nothing to climb. So the next time you find yourself stuck and in a rut, I want you to flip the script with these three foolproof tips that will help to brighten your perspective, right? So let's talk about that. So what script am I talking about? I'm talking about the demons inside your head. I'm talking about, you know, they call it the satanic voices. Those are, you know, they call it whatever it is, you know, that, that noise, right? Whether your script is, I'm too old. I can't do this. I'm trying, but nothing seems to happen. Yada, yada, yada. We all know it. It happens to the best of us. So I want to share with you one of my all-time favorite quotes by Dr. Wayne Dyer is, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at begin to change. Now that might not be word for word, but it's a beautiful quote. And this, my friends, holds a lot of truth for me. It's very liberating because it reminds me that the power is in my hands or better yet in my thoughts right so let me tell you a little story about this man who became my mentor without him ever really knowing i then was able to personally meet him many years later but when i was 18 years old many of us many of you peeps don't know this but I was 18 years old. I was in, I was already in college. I had already, yes, I love him too, right? 
Okay, so I was already in college, but I went straight from high school to university, and I was the first generation, the first one in over 29, um, you know, uh, grandkids to actually go, and the first female, right? Somebody had gone before me, it was my cousin, but he was a male. And so I went straight in, and nobody prepared me for the overwhelm and the fear and everything that goes from going from high school to university. So what ended up happening was literally one of the things being ADD, ADHD, one of the things that we struggle with is our sense of depression. We, you know, we've had, you know, ADD has very depressive moods and so I was really depressed. I was, I think it was like the first year and I was really, really depressed. I want you to know that. Very depressed. Deprimida como no te imaginas. To the point where I was praying at night that God could show me the way to end my life. That's how bad it was. And I remember coming out of a class on a rainy day, coming out of a class at San Diego State, and I didn't want to go anymore. I didn't want to do anything. And I couldn't talk to my mom and dad because mom and dad didn't understand the stress and the overwhelm of being in college. So instead, I found myself going to the bathroom, crying myself for an hour, getting up, driving myself to a bookstore where nobody was there. Back in the day, nobody was there. I'm dating myself, obviously. And there was just the man who owned the bookstore. And I walked in and I had done and I walked in and I don't even know why I was there. I had never gone to bookstores before. I didn't even know why I was there. But something told me just drive in. So I just followed. I drove in. But I was ready to, you know, literally end my life. I was thinking about where my mom had the sleeping pills and her thyroid pills so that I could take them and then I wouldn't have to wake up in the morning. That's how bad it had gotten for me, guys. And I remember crying and then I remember sitting down. I basically leaned up against the wall and I slid down. I slid down, guys, and what happened um next was interesting because I started to cry. I, I literally was crawling on the floor. I crawled to a bookshelf and this is a true story. And I turned my back on the bookshelf and I remember holding my hands right here on top of my knees. And I said to God, I don't know why you have me here. I have no purpose here. I clearly said to him, you, there's no reason for me to be here. Nobody understands me. Nobody wants me. And really, I just said, that's all I, you know, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know who can help me. I remember asking, who can help me? Who can help me? And, and then, you know, I went into the naughty place, right? I call that the naughty place. I went into the naughty place and I said, and I challenged and I said, if there is a God, then show yourself right now. Show yourself right now. And I was like, oh my God, how could I do this? But anyway, now I think about it, right? And so lo and behold, I don't know what I was trying to do, but I, pu I pushed my head back. And as I pushed my head back, then I ricocheted off of the, off of the shelf and bam, this book came falling and literally hit me on the head so hard that I literally had to cry and, and lay on the floor crying. And the, the owner comes over and he says, are you okay? And I said, no, I got hit by a book. And, and then, you know, he kind of sat me up and he said, look at this book. Maybe it's a message for you. And I looked at the book and the, the author was Dr. Wayne Dyer. And the, the title of the book, I still remember very clearly, it was called The Erroneous Zones. And oh my God, I took that book, I devoured it, and and that changed, that would put me on a new trajectory to change my thoughts, right? It just, that from that moment on, I looked at that and I said, oh my God, 
you know, you are giving me a message. I'm going to take this book. I, um, I went to the, to pay for it. And, and the gentleman said, mm, I don't want you to pay. I want to give a gift it to you. So I was like, okay. And then he says, but bring it back when you're done and, um, and, and redonate it. So I did. I ran and, and I devoured it. I'm a voracious reader. So I had it done in an hour. Literally, I had it done in an hour. And so I went back and he goes, you're done with it? And I said, yep, and I can tell you all about it. So here's your beautiful book and make sure somebody else gets it. From that day on, I couldn't get enough of Dr. Wayne Dyer. So, you know, there, there are messages for you all the time. You may just not be aware of them. So that book changed my thoughts, right? So one of the things that in order for you to flip the switch is to be present. And remember, the number one thing is to change your thoughts. Cambian sus pensamientos. Because what you think becomes you. You become your, what you're thinking. Whenever you have a limiting thought or a limiting belief pattern that arises, you've got to be aware of it and Flip that script. You've got, you've got to notice what you're feeling when you speak it because feeling is energy. And sometimes that is the energy that's even more powerful than our words, guys. So simply, you've got to flip the script. Keep repeating that flip like I can, I can, I can, I am, I am, I am. Um, you know, repetition is the key to transforming what we think and what we believe. And as my friend, beautiful Raquelita says, you got to fake it till you make it, baby. And that's when you know it's true. You got to keep on saying it, repeating it, repeating it until you believe it. And you got to be aware though, because number two, foolproof, um, you know, number two is the full is is that you've got to feel your way into your thoughts you tienen que tener y poner atención a tus sentimientos as i said before feelings are energy and feelings have more power to them than you can possibly imagine the feeling energy has a powerful energy that is invisible and unspoken baby so example, if you're repeating, I'm skinny, I'm skinny, I'm skinny, but you're feeling that's not true, right? That's not true. If you're feeling that, then the feeling wins. The feeling wins. Yes, right? And Hector says, Hector says, oh, hey, we, wow, signs come in different ways. Yes, they do, right? And so the feeling wins. So once you're noticing that feeling, then what happens is you've got to take action to begin to change it. So for me, that action is going into my closet where nobody's around and I use tapping and I use the Sedona method for getting those feelings out so that I can flip that switch, right? But if you're not working on those feelings, that repetition that we that I gave you in number one isn't going to work. You've got to, they all run together. So then once you get in that feeling place, which was number two, you change it. Then you go into number three, which is then you begin to shift your focus. Cambia tu enfoque. Because what you focus on, my friends, when you find yourself stuck in a rut, is going to be what grows into your life and into your business. So shift your focus from something that's bad to something that's good in your life or something that's beautiful in your life. And if you can't do it just by shifting the focus, you've got to take action. Again, notice I say take action because Action is the operative word to your success in anything that you do in this lifetime, guys. So focus on something that makes you smile from the inside out, like loving on your pets, like loving on your dog, like having good sex, like, you know, <laughs> something that gives you deep joy. 
Go outside, open your arms. The moment that you open this area, this is the fourth chakra, you open your arms, you literally are opening up and it's really hard, guys, to feel stuck when your arms are open. Notice how when you're feeling stuck, what happens? You tend to, you tend to cave in. So open your arms, go outside, enjoy the sunshine, Find something that you're grateful for. Cherish every moment, right? This will help you to shift your perspective so that you begin to feel lighter. And once you begin to feel lighter, my gosh, peeps, this is going to change your script. This is going to be how you flip the switch to change the script that's running in your head. Now, this might be, people always ask me, Marty, um, so how many times do I need to do this for it to become permanent, right? Well, here's what I say. You got to practice it every day because practice makes permanent, right? You've got to practice it every single day. There's no easy way out. There's no magic button that says, boom, I'm going to do it right now and it's going to Take off for the rest of my life. Uh-uh. I wish. I wish I'd be the number one person to sign up. Yep, sign me up. Did I hear sex? Hector says, did I hear sex? Now we're talking. Yes, baby, you did. If sex is what's going to make you help you flip the switch, then you got to do that. Tienen que cambiar. Tienen que buscar la manera de cambiar los sentimientos. Right? So baby, those were your three. Those were your three things. Number one, let me just recap. Being that I'm, you know, change your thoughts. Cambien sus pensamientos. Feel your way into the thoughts. Pon atención a tus sentimientos. Shift your focus. Cambia tu enfoque, right? So those are your three tips I leave with you on how to, to flip the switch, guys. And now... If you found value in this and would like to go into a deeper dive on this topic, I'm having a free training in April in my private Facebook group that's called Rock Your Business Academy, where, you, where I teach you to begin to create your blueprint for success. So if that's something that you think that you want, then in the comments below, I want you to drop the word deep dive. And I will send you the link to join that private group, guys. All right? And share this message. Please do share this video out with somebody that you think might benefit from this message, guys. And as always, this is Marty Angel, your servant leader, wishing you a beautiful day. Marty Angel, su servidora y coach de crecer su negocio en línea, deseándoles... Un hermoso y bonito día. Have a great day, guys. Namaste.